Hey guys, I wanted to record this so y'all could see. We are taking two vehicles, but we've got all the birds and we're going to the vet today. We're going to get uh, their vaccinations done. So I just wanted to show you how we do it, but it's real fun because we're taking all of them on the same day. Anyways, I gotta drive. My husband's behind me with some of the other birds. And uh, we'll see you back here once we get there. Husband, he's got, <laughs> he's got the three amigos and Hendrick and Aurora and Pride and um, Phoenix. And we've got Bob and Cypress and Ellie. And then we have Brulee and Stassi back there. So we're gonna go ahead and go in. So you're picking me now? Come here, bro. Oh, he, we cut, we clipped their nails today, so he thinks I'm well. gonna come here, bro. Okay, you're gonna have to grab him. He said no. Ruckus. Ruckus. Come here. Here. Yeah, they are. What? Peek-a-boo! 
That is it. That's it? That's all. Okay, so we're back home and all the birds are settled back in and taking naps. That's why it's so quiet. Although there's plenty of them in the playroom right now. There's only four uh, in the living room area with me on play stands. But I just want to talk about um, the vaccine in general. Um, so it's important that when you get birds that you understand that they can carry uh, diseases and we happen to test all our birds for multiple diseases, uh, Bornavirus, Polyomavirus, PBFD, which is beak and feather disease, um, and Chlamydia. So um, even though they're tested, uh, we go ahead and we get the vaccinations every year um, for the birds as a precautionary thing just because it's available. Look, if there was other vaccines available, we'd probably get those too, but there's not. And uh, as far as I know, the polyoma vaccine is only available um, in the United States and not in other countries. I could be wrong, um, but so it's important that when you have birds, you quarantine them when you bring them home before introducing them to other birds that you may have. Um, just as a precautionary in case they are sick because you don't want to get your other birds sick. Uh, and, and a lot of these diseases are very highly contagious and other birds can get them so easily and then, you know, they can die uh, depending on the situation, the age of the bird and so on. So I just wanted to talk a minute about that and I'll show you what the vaccine actually looks like. So unfortunately, due to COVID, um, I've been having a hard time, well, had a hard time getting uh, the vaccine ordered because it was on back order for so long. But I did finally uh, get it. And actually the box looks like this. So you can see that it's the vaccine itself. It might be backwards for you watching. Um, and then, then here's the vial with the dead vaccine in it. And each bird only gets 0.25 milligrams and each syringe, which you may have noticed the syringes um, during the visit today. Uh, and then we also get our certificates, our state certified certificates that they did in fact get them. And those um, vaccination cards have to be signed and dated and all the information of the bird itself on the vaccination card. And I'll show you what the... So this is what they look like. Um, I didn't fill out everything like the uh, band numbers because not all of them have bands or I didn't put hatch dates this time around, but <clears throat> they are signed and dated and you can see that we took them today and the amount and the bird and the species and the color and whatever. That's just a little piece of what we do annually when we just go to get their vaccinations done. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, our crazy little vet visits for vaccines. Uh, we hope you all have a happy Halloween if you celebrate and enjoy your weekend.